the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I bring you greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. And um, I'm happy and honored to be here. I'd like us to please bless and honor Reverend Vindi Olu. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. And then very quickly, I may not know all the servants of God that are here, but I honor you in the name of Jesus. It's an honor to serve Jesus and all who are here present, both students, staff, and members of this great ministry. It is always an honor to serve Jesus and to reveal him even at such a time as this i know that our time is gone apologies we had a lot of um flight issues but we'll have a, a few minutes tonight and um, i just thought we'll just turn tonight into a prayer meeting and then by tomorrow <laughs> praise the name of the lord so we'll just take some time to pray tonight and then we'll have a bit of time to teach the bible says he spake a parable luke chapter 18 and verse 1 to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint there are there are many things that prayer achieves in the life of a believer and i'll be showing you a few of it but please for the next few minutes um you have celebrated me and i'm honored but we are only witnesses to one who is greater than all of us here <laughs> hallelujah praise the name of the lord and so i want you to lend your destiny the next few minutes of dedicated disciplined attention thank god for please help me am i doing something wrong just help me thank you i think that's fine and so within the few minutes that we have to pray just obtain grace from god to pray is a prayer drill and the, the goal is to be able to build in us that spiritual capacity hallelujah yes and so we'll take some time to pray and then i'll share maybe just one or two scriptures we'll pray some more and then we'll be done for the night prayer is very powerful if done with understanding if you just pray randomly without understanding you will only dissipate energy that does not provide any spiritual value but we are a people of prayer jesus prayed the apostles prayed the patriarchs of old prayed and anyone who wants to become a worthy host of god's presence these saviors that arise from zion they must be a people of prayer prayer is not for prayer warriors prayer is for men hallelujah he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray so when it's time to pray there's no such thing that i'm not the prayer type if you are not the prayer type it's an attack if you are not the prayer type it's an attack because only the prayer types do anything at all that is spiritually meaningful listen as you are praying i like you to know that you are releasing something from within your spirit that generations will be blessed from so do not be distracted 
dedicated times of prayer inside with their people outside let's just give the Lord some attention and pray are we together father help us tonight we obtain grace by the spirit this is not just a conference we have come to truly truly pray and we obtain grace by the power of the Holy Spirit we obtain grace in the name of Jesus Christ we look to Yahweh Yahweh our hope is Yahweh Yahweh we look to Yahweh Yahweh forever Yahweh Yahweh we look to Yahweh Yahweh our hope is Yahweh Yahweh we look to Yahweh Yahweh forever Yahweh one more time. We look to Yahweh. We look to Yahweh. Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh. Yahweh. We look to Yahweh. everywhere inside and outside i'd like you to open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit pray desperately pray with intention pray with focus Kapakata parakatoja lakete prende gede belakata. Kaprata kata parakata katosko to prende gede kelekete pratos kate galakusia. Ende gede pras kata kate paroko to soto prende gede bala. Shata bagata bala kata prende gede gede pako to soto prende gede kelakatos kata pras kata parakata prende gede gede. Hebron to to ko to paru ka to shkate prete ke paru za sekete ya shkate pere ke te pa ko shkate paru ka te prete ke te balagada shkate pa ka ta pa ka ta pro to ko to prete shkate pele shkate pre shkate pele ke to sh kri ke te paru zo zo ko to paru ka te le ka to sekete pele ke dia you are edifying your spirit man ka paru ko to pro to ko to sh ko to pe ke te paru ka te le ka ta. Shakate parakate kelekate proskate parada balagada. Ebram bakata parakata skate praskate balagato koto proskoto balikata. Ebakata paroskate brende kate leketo skate praskida lakata paruzia. Go ahead and pray. Edify your spirit, man. Build capacity in the spirit. Shakatekete balakata praskata balanda pakatos koto proskoto balakata. Kepres kades 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 kades. Kerakata pakata pranta kata balakato proskoto pakate. Shkate perakate pakate balakata proskoto pakoto prakate balakata. Shono koto paro koto praskate balakata. Em papa kata para kata pras kata para katos koto pros koto bala kata ke pre kete paros koto pros kate bala katesh em pre kete da kas kata para kata bala kata pras kata para kusha pre katia em pre kete 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 bala kate pras kato kata pros koto pras kate bala kate pros koto bala kata ke pre kete poko to pros koto pre kete 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 ba ke pre kete katos koto pros koto pre kete pras kate kete katia. En krakata parakata prakata 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 mala kepekete koskoto prokoto prakata 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 
Tena katas kata bash kata barakata Enkra kate katun koto prondo koto prende kate bele kate baria kata Kere kate bele kate prados koto prondo koto bala kata Kebrodo koto prondo koto prende kate kate bele kata Shkata barakata shkata bara shkata bara kata Shkata bara kata bara kata lekete bos Embrata bakata bara kata bakata bakata bala kata kata prende kate kate bos don't be tired you're praying don't be tired you're praying you're energizing your spirit man Ekrekete parede sekete belekata manda parondos koto prondos koto pre sekete lekata ekrekete bakata prozo sekete mas kata parata serene bakata prondo koto pros koti alabada imprekete kete parata kata parakata prende kete belekata shakata parakata prende kete belekete shapakata parata bata kata prende belekete bakata. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus was speaking and he said, The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing for you to rise, but the flesh is is weak the spirit is willing for you to contact grace but the flesh is weak the spirit is willing for you to see but the flesh is weak the spirit is willing for you to experience speed but the flesh is weak when you pray one of the marvelous miracles of prayer is that it sustains the ability to tame the flesh and allow the spirit gain ascendance and bring you victory are you ready to still pray open your mouth now and pray with understanding you're a campus leader pray you are a man of God, pray. You are a pastor, a man, a woman of God, pray. Shanantas katapalekates kotobadosh. Ebrekete kete barakatos sadekete balakata. Shinekete beredekos kotobalada balada 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 ba. Shede beredebos. Shede balada balada ba. Shegede balada bos. Radi balada 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 ba. For your name is holy. You are holy. Holy are you, Lord. Shana makatela bakasa branda kadeba lakata bras kadeba. For your name is mighty. Shkade bakate bras kadeba lakato. Shkade bakate kebra koto koto pakate branda kadeya. Telekates koto pronto skoto balakata pregete balakata riada. For your name is faithful. Sene ma sene ma kata balakata balakata pregete balada bos. Shkata balakata prende kete pres kete balakata. He pros kabare geto shoto balakata. For your name is wonderful. Counselor, the mighty God. She de baraka te prende ke te bele ke ta. Shka de bere ke te barus ke te bele ke de bala da da ba. Te bere ke te bala ka te bros ko to bala ke te. You are praying. Embre ke te shalas ka da baraka ta. Kre ke te be ke te brando ko to bros ko to bala ka ta. Shana ma ka te prende ke te bele ke ta. E prakata ka te brans ka te bele ke ta. Expand your capacity. 
expand your capacity expand your capacity in the spirit gain ascendance in the spirit this is how saviors are made this is how the mighty are made in the kingdom go ahead and stretch stretch Skabade balas kade la kata le kata le kata e prakata prakata bande kata prosko to pariata enda berata skade bala kata prada kada bala kata praga de badia da balas shada bala kata branda kada bala kosko to barosia da bala da bala da bos. I hail you, Most High. I hail you, Most High. You're the Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne. I hail you, Ali. Sada Sada Lata Bariata. I hail you, Most High. I hail. Defy pain, defy pain, defy pain, defy pain and stretch in the spirit. Kepas Kateba Lakata Brandekata. Skade berakate bandos koto brondo koto pras kedele ebrakate barus koto brondo koto prende kade berakate ya skade berakate branda kade barakato sabari asada barada balakata dia kada ah hello he. Ah, Elohim. Ah, Elohim. Shabbat Shalom. Barakat is a prayer meeting. Get the barakat os koto brando koto brakat alakat. Shabbat Shalom. Barakat brando koto brakat alakat. Abracata Barrasos Koto Brondo Koto Bregadesh Lakatabesh Kata Bregadesh Kata Bracatos Soto Poros Abracata Patagata Bregata Katakata Katapatos Tabanakatabako Soto Bracatova Lakata Mekata Bros Koto Bondo Koto Baskata Belakata Bregada Belakata Shiperega de Katus Yadabana Hallelujah In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Luke chapter 9. We are still standing. Luke chapter 9 from verse 28 and 29. One of the mysteries of engaging prayer with understanding Luke chapter 9 from verse 28 and 29 we're still praying and it came to pass about an eight days after these sayings he took Peter 
John and James and went up into a mountain to pray the miracle is in the next verse let's read together 29 if you can see one to read and as he prayed the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment was white this is one of the things that prayer does it says as he prayed not before he prayed as he prayed his countenance there is transformation the primary assignment of prayer is for your transformation not just receiving needs having requests is only an aspect of prayer the primary assignment of prayer is a spiritual tool that evolves you into a superior dimension in the spirit so every time you submit yourself to prayer you may not realize what is happening but in the realm of the spirit he says his countenance began to change and then his raiment mastery over the flesh his garment became white all of the lusts and all of the things that stop you from experiencing a superior christian experience his garment prayer also affects the garment as he prayed his countenance changed his garment became white and glistening is someone ready to pray still so now you understand that whilst you are praying something is happening to you the version that came to this ground is not the version that is living there is there is there is capacity there is expansion so that the grace you could not carry yesterday you can now carry today open your mouth and begin to pray tired of this level in the spirit tired of this dimension in the spirit it's a call for a higher realm lift your voice and pray we pray growth in the spirit growth in the spirit embrace ascending into levels ascending into higher levels in the spirit
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus listen let me tell you what happens to you when you begin to pray you are tampering with something a status quo that the flesh is used to the flesh will fight you when you pray but when you stay and you continue praying you will get to a point where you will begin to gain dominion over the flesh let me show you something Acts chapter 28 hmm. Acts chapter 28 let's start from verse 1 Acts chapter 28 from verse 1 the Bible says and when they were escaped talking about Paul now please pay attention they knew that their island was called Melita verse 2 it says and the barbarous people showed us no little kindness and then they received us and helped us in the cold Paul is speaking next verse the Bible says when Paul gathered a bundle of sticks look up please Paul gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire and then came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand look up please when Paul was gathering that stick there was a viper hiding there but it could not be seen but when they brought that stick into fire the viper that was hiding found its way out there are times you may never know the tendencies that are hiding within you all the lusts and the cares but when you submit yourself to the fire of the spirit everything that is hiding waiting to destroy your future it begins to be exposed in the presence of prayer it is in the place of prayer that whilst you pray all of a sudden God reveals to you that there is pride the viper of pride hiding waiting to destroy the next 20 years of your ministry there is the viper of lust there is the viper of self glorification in the place of prayer the viper is both exposed and destroyed open your mouth and begin to pray that everything hidden in my destiny to destroy me hidden in my life by the power of prayer tonight in the name of Jesus Christ let it be exposed and destroyed are there people of prayer in Insuka? lift your voice and pray the fire always exposes the viper the fire always exposes the viper seeing that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith east of the Niger pray shake every viper shake every viper He pratos sada bakata prendega de belekatos. E katos sada bakata barakate praska de belekatos. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are we still following? Matthew chapter 21 
from verse 13. Let me show you a mystery while we pray. Matthew chapter 21 and verse 13. Jesus entered the temple and he began to flog people who were buying and selling in the temple. And when he flogged them, he made a statement that is a very deep mystery. Matthew, please give it to us. Matthew chapter 21 and verse 13. Read with me. Ready? One to read. Uh huh. He said, It is written, if it is my house, it will be called a house of prayer. He says, But you have made it a den of robbers. Let me show you a mystery. In the realm of the spirit, a house is either a house of prayer or a den of robbers. Listen to me. Even if that house is you, if you are not a house of prayer, the next other thing in your life is you become a den of robbers. You know what robbers do? They come to a house to steal. So once you are not a house of prayer, you become a den of robbers. So they can come into your life and your destiny. They can steal time. They can steal your joy. They can steal your increase. The antidote to the robbery of Satan over your health, over your life is to become the house of prayer. Are we together now? So if you do not pray your health, he will steal from your health your joy he will steal from your time the moment the temple stopped being a house of prayer it became a den of robbers do you know what they were doing in the temple they were exchanging things so the devil can pray on your life and exchange your destiny exchange your virtues because he found a cold temple that was not a place of prayer that means if you want to drive robbers in the temple, the way you drive robbers is to turn it back to a house of prayer. Is someone ready to drive robbers from your life? The robbers that steal time, the robbers that steal joy, the robbers that cause delay. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. This house is a house of prayer, never a den of robbers. Kabakatosh. This house remains a house of prayer. This house remains a house of prayer. My body, my life, my destiny remains a house of prayer. Ebros koto barus kada belentes kada barus kripe kato pokos koto pelekata. Go ahead and pray. Lekata brandi ki barus ki ata balakata. Pray. Shine tapas kada les kabaras kotos. He prays kata bekata pros koto balakata brigadea. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are you tired of praying? My head, you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I am anointed with fresh oil. My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I am anointed with fresh oil. My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn 
I am anointed. I will give you another prayer point, but I want to pray. I'm seeing at least 24 people. The Lord is saying he's bringing you into seasons of encounter with the Spirit. And the power of God is going to come on such people. I want to pray for them now. I want you to please bring them out whether you are an usher or not. Just help them. There are certain people here. Some of you are students. You didn't even know that the call of God is upon your life. But there is a grace that is finding you now. I don't know where they are. But I stretch my hands all over this auditorium. In the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. May that grace that represents the calling that draws you into the secret place. May that grace come upon you now. May that grace come upon you. Please bring them out. There is a strong anointing that is coming on those people. Men and women. Men and women of power of grace. You will never, never be the same. Please make sure they don't injure themselves. When you hold them like this, let them just be down. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands now and I decree and declare over his entire auditorium, everyone by the Spirit who should be part of this calling. I stretch my hands, may that grace come on you now. Help them, please, help them. My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I am anointed with fresh oil. My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn. Hey, shalata pakata Luke chapter 3 and verse 21. Pay attention. This gentleman, come. That man lifting your hands. What do you do? Are you a pastor? What's your name? Huh? Who is? I'm not. Who is Abel? What's your name? I'm a person. Stand up. And it's, what's your, you, are, you are together? I want to pray for you. You are young people, but God is going to, there is a training that God is going to submit you to. And I tell you the kind of fire that will come out of your lives. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for this gentleman. Like fire from on high, from today, move to a new dimension take that fire now in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ luke chapter 3 and verse 21 please we're praying please pay attention luke chapter 3 and verse 21 please look at your screens luke chapter 3 media help us there is my god there is a prophetic well there are some of you here i'm seeing a horn in the spirit this is what i'm saying there are people who are ready to drink of this wine students young people some of you are not even pastors where are they i stretch my hands may the horn of the spirit go left and right of this auditorium let there be that ordination that lifting bring them out all over the crowd there are women ladies I see an anointing in this campus and around. The power of God is resting upon you. The horn of the prophetic coming upon your life. Bring them up. So we bow as we enter the throne room. 
and we cast ourselves now at your feet you are holy thou art holy there is none like you in your presence that is where I must be in your presence that is where I must be in your presence that is where I must be Luke chapter 3 and verse 21 Please give it to us. The Bible says this was the baptism of Jesus. Let me just turn there for the sake of time. Luke chapter 3 and verse 21. The Bible says, Now when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also look up please being baptized and praying and praying the result the heavens was open baptized and praying prayer is one of the mysteries that controls open heavens and when the heavens were open the next thing we see happening was the Holy Ghost descending access to the spirit access to power through prayer while he was baptized and praying the heavens open is someone ready to pray for a few more minutes i know we're out of time just a few minutes and we're done i'd like you to lift your voice and begin to pray this prayer is for open heaven so god open heavens greater glory he paras katabaras kaniakata being baptized and praying being baptized and praying being baptized and praying the healing anointing came upon his life being baptized and praying the prophetic mantle came upon his life being baptized and praying the apostolic mantle came upon his life being baptized and praying the grace for speed came upon his life pray shanaka paskata lakata shanika sise pekata ba korobo siba kania da balakata hallelujah hallelujah who is Eforma? i'm hearing a name Eforma. our time is gone we we'll have time to minister to people Eforma, you are wearing a yellow t-shirt Eforma, is there someone like that this is what i'm seeing in my vision like orange or yellow something like that who is that stand up what is your name let's verify What's her name? You, who knows her here so that you don't think people are... Your name is Informa. I want to pray for you. My dear, look at me. The Lord is raising you to be a savior over your family. You may be a lady, but there is grace and fire coming upon you that will translate you to a sign and a wonder. I stretch my hands and I pray for you. May that grace shift you to a level in the spirit that you will become so powerful. In the name of Jesus Christ, drink of that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a gentleman here. The power of God is coming on you. You are a campus pastor. But I'm seeing there is a strong healing anointing that is coming on you. This is a campus pastor, like um, a pastor within the campus. I don't know where that person is, but I stretch my hands. 
in the name of Jesus may this mantle of your call and destiny let it locate you now let it locate you now in the name Habadeke Paruska de de Levita, He Paruska de Balaka. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, my dear people, hear me. One of the ways that mighty men are made in this kingdom is by submitting themselves methodically to the ministry of prayer you cannot contend for genuine spiritual power power over nations power over systems it's not just by laying on of hands there is capacity that you must build in the spirit no matter what the oil can do if the container is small the oil will not do much I'm sensing in my spirit that there are altars here that the fire has gone down. Down. This was not the way you used to be with God. Your prayer life was on fire. But now all kinds of distractions. All kinds of distractions. All kinds of distractions. Resting upon you to distract you. I stretch my hands even over your prayer life right now like fire from heaven let that altar parus kadina ka shaneneketebere keta the grace to travel the grace to push through in prayer until you bet realities I stretch my hands all over this auditorium take that grace right now take that grace right now in the name of Jesus Christ the spirit of prayer and of supplication You call this conference saviors from Zion. Do you know how olive produces oil? The oil that is used to anoint, that oil that was used to anoint kings, to anoint nobles, the olive would pass through a system of crushing and threshing. It is in that squeezing that the oil comes out of the olive. There is a way mighty men are made in this kingdom. God is raising mighty men in this place. God is raising People of fire in this place. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till your life looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till you look just like him. God is raising mighty prophets in this place. God is raising of power in this place he won't stop he won't stop till your life looks like him he won't stop he won't stop till your life looks like him hallelujah the lord is asking me to pray especially over students there is the spirit of understanding Ellie who said in chapter 32 and verse 8 but there is a spirit in man and the inspiration the breath 
of the Almighty can make men of understanding. The Lord is showing me some of you here, you are students. You are sincere, you are serious. But just when it is around the period of exams, it's like there is a dark cloud that sits upon your mind. No comprehension again. I don't know who belongs to that category, but I'm praying for you right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of let that dark cloud over your mind be rolled away now let it be rolled away now let it be rolled away now and i impart upon you the grace for extraordinary comprehension in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord is healing someone there's a lump around the left part of your breast but the power of god is touching you right now bringing you life bringing you healing in the name of jesus wherever you are i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit let there be healing for you now. The last thing I'm going to do tonight and then we're done. Bring the lady that shouts under the anointing loud to the hearing of everybody. The power of God is coming on someone. A lady. Taking the pain and the sorrow away, you've given me peace undeniable. There's no need to cry, cause you're always with me. You're my father, my everything. Yeah. Listen, please let me give you an instruction before I pray the prayer I want to pray. Whether you are an usher or not, please listen. Whether you are an usher or not, please you are going to do the work of an usher and be your brother's keeper. Because there is a mighty deliverance that is going to happen here now. There are altars that have sat on the destinies of people. And these altars are about to be dislodged. I want to pray a very serious prayer. I wanted to bring those under the anointing as I pray. But let me tell you this. Please help one another so that there is no chaos. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. There are people here. Listen to me. The destiny you are living is not the destiny ordained by God. There are all kinds of spirit. Apakates kedebeyata. Yokes of darkness. have come to sound a trumpet and a shofar to the realm of the spirit that in the name of the lord god whose i am at the count of three as you shout that name jesus everything sitting on your destiny and that of your family is about to let you go are you ready now one two three shout jesus i command every devil i command every spirit out of their lives now out of their destinies now bring them out every familiar spirit every workings of witchcraft tying you down connected to ancestry connected to foundation the bible says blotting out every handwriting every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now
We are still praying. My God, fire is falling in this place. Hear me. There are many of you who have been tied. Delays all around. In school, in life, and destiny. Again, I'm praying. Every altar tying you down. Tying your loved ones down. You're going to shout Jesus again. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. I set them on fire. Fire. I set them on fire by the power of the Holy Apocalypse. Eke teke teke pa. Beko prosko teke ta. Beres ketia. I bring a rod of fire. A rod of fire. A rod of fire. Power of the Holy Ghost changing your life you came to the house of God you came to encounter the God of the Bible hallelujah now please listen to me listen listen every one of you here we have to end tonight whatever you will do please do not miss tomorrow's meeting I want to share with you a revelation and then we'll pray for the sick and I'm going to be speaking over your life you called for a visitation and thank God for the servants of God and one of the things that will be happening tomorrow is an impartation many of you have seen this in your dreams many of you have seen it in visions it's time for you to access genuine grace genuine spiritual power for the sake of the call of god upon your life for the sake of your destiny can i tell you this there are many of you that will not be able to sleep tonight the angelic activities the prophetic supernatural activities that begin to happen around your life God revealing things, correcting things, reordering things. We have to wrap up. Everyone, please pay attention. The last set of people that I want to pray for are those who need restoration of their relationship with Jesus and those who have never it will be impossible for it to be that among all of these people scattered here those following online or listening online outside there will always be people who just came casually some of you students maybe some staff lecturers others just people who came within town to celebrate what God is doing listen to me as we approach the coming of Christ as we approach the end times the issue of a man's relationship with Jesus is a very serious issue it's not the issue of church or religion or pastor the Bible says this is the record that God had given unto us eternal life he says and this life is in his son so that he that had the son had life let me encourage all fellowships campus presidents pastors and leaders among the many things we do and teach you must pay attention to the salvation of your congregation no matter what rema no matter what dimension no matter what healing what prophecy what miracle if your people are not saved they will go to hell it's as simple as that 
and so I want to make an altar call now for those who will be coming some of you will come here some of you will come there be careful not to match those under the anointing there is a reason why they are there the power of God is coming on you and hear me many of you need to make it right genuinely with Jesus genuinely I'm going to count one to five you know you are in this category there's no point lying there's no point cajoling honorably you don't have to enjoy anyone be careful but come and stand here at my left and my right I'll begin my counting now one if you are coming run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand before Jesus Nsuka, are you celebrating salvation two run to Jesus forget about your friend forget about whoever it is and if you come and stand don't just be looking at me begin to pray and talk to the Lord if you come and stand here don't just be looking at me talk to Jesus I have come to you let's keep celebrating salvation Jesus the Son of God I believe in you I believe in you talk to the Lord Jesus the Son of God I believe in you I believe in you Jesus the Son of God I believe in you. I believe in you. The hymn writer says it pays to serve Jesus, but I add it pays to know Jesus. Listen, my dear ones. You have come before Jesus Christ, the one we serve, the one we love, the one we honor. For many of you, you are coming to him and you're saying, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is the only thing I have to tell you now. The way my life is, I need a miracle. Others are saying, I've laughed at this church thing, but I want to start afresh. It doesn't matter what category you are welcome. The Bible says, as many as will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. All of you who are in front and those who might be following online, lift your hands high to heavens. High to the heavens as you pray this prayer as a sign of surrender. I'm going to lead you to a prayer right now. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Every one of you together, loud say Jesus Lord Jesus I come before you tonight just as I am I admit that I cannot help myself but I believe in you that you are the son of God I believe in you that you died for me Tonight, I believe that you are Savior, you are Lord, you are King. And therefore, I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord, you are my Savior, you are my King. I hand over my life to you in exchange for your own life. I receive the abundance of grace the gift of righteousness and I declare 
that I reign in life. The power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave are broken over my life. From today, I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name. Keep those hands lifted. Father, we thank you for salvation. Thank you for these ones the Bible declares that no man cometh to the Father except through the Son. They have come to you and we thank you for the integrity of your word that declares that when we confess the Lord Jesus with our mouths and we believe in our hearts, then we are saved. The Bible declares there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. They have declared your lordship by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven and i declare that you begin a new a new walk with god in the name of jesus christ i commend you to the ministry of the word and i commend you to the ministry of the holy spirit i declare that you are built you are established in righteousness and you become a mighty tool in the hands of god the power of sin and Satan like you have declared is broken over your life. From today, you are declared the righteousness of God. Indeed, a new creation in Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Now, please look at me, everyone. Look at me. While we celebrate them, those who are here, just follow some counselors. They will be waving their hands. Counselors, just wave your hands. Let them see you. All of you in concert, let's celebrate them as they go. And those who are here, there will be a counselor at the back. Can you celebrate them very quickly as they follow these people? Is that the best you can do in Sukha? Let's keep clapping. Let's celebrate salvation. Celebrate them until they go. Now, listen please. Um... At the permission of Reverend Vindiolu, I want to plead that tomorrow, if allowed, every one of you as you come tomorrow, I'd like you to write everything that has troubled your life and destiny. Write it as a prayer request and I want you to bring it here. I'm going to be releasing my faith with you that by the faith of the Son of God and under the corporate anointing, everything that will not let you go, and will not allow you experience a new season in your life it must bow to the name of the lord are we together in agreement and then please you can collect the request of others even your family members who are afar off they can send it for you you can write it down and together we're going to pray here i decree and declare that the lord bless you i decree and declare that tonight begins a new spiritual journey you submit to the making of the spirit and indeed he will make you until you become a sign and a wonder to the glory of the name of the lord the lord bless you and see you tomorrow dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.